we'll see the Golden State Warriors and the Phoenix Suns. We've got an action-packed Saturday night of NBA action for you. Thanks for joining us. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Thompson is out there with Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then there's Draymond Green. And it's Poole in at the shooting guard. And for the Suns, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jay Crowder out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Paul in at the one spot. So Phoenix will get the first possession. Booker outside. Goes up on the high post. Kept alive. Ayton kicks to Crowder. From deep. Again, the miss by Booker. Now the Warriors moving it up. Green with the ball. Pass to Curry. Back to Green. It's rebounded by Paul. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. And Ayton throws it down. What a connection DeAndre Ayton has with his guys. Great timing on the alley-oop. Here's Poole. Thompson outside. Kicks it to Curry. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Oh, eight in position. Up high to stop the alley-oop. And you gotta love how Paul sees the whole court so well. Maybe the best quality for a point guard to have. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey Kevin, I was able to talk to Golden State's head coach. He told me they have to lean on their post game tonight. He wants them to get the ball into the block each time down the floor and pound those guys inside. Sounds like this could be a real physical battle, Kevin. Back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. And here's Booker from the arc. Doesn't go for him. So Golden State will take it the other way. Here's Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down hard. Oh, the ease with which he elevates Wiggins with a highlight move that time. Booker looking around. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. The kick out to Crowder. Booker outside. Nailed from three-point land. Booker's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Warriors trade by three. Curry with it. And the pass to Poole. Jacks up a three. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Aiden, good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got three assists tonight. Well, DeAndre Aiden should own the paint. Nice touch there. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Thompson, left side. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Suns. Paul passes to Bridges. Good ball movement here by the Suns. No good from Booker. Boy, he cannot get anything to fall, but the teammates, boy, have they delivered. Poole, the pass to Curry. 
and another three for Golden State. Well, I'm not sure there's a player in the league with a better feel for that shot than Steph Curry. If he gets it off clean, you know it's going in. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And the Suns here with a different look. Charge checked in for Jay Crowder. Johnson comes in for Bridges. Landry Shamit's checked in for Booker. And it's Payne in for Chris Paul. Now here's Payne. To the middle. The steal. Here's Curry with the three, and another three for Golden State. Suns trail by four. 137 left here in the first quarter. Phoenix, no good that time either. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. Sinks the three-pointer. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Shamit. 106 left to play in the first quarter. Drills it from outside. How about the laser focus on that jump shot? Pays no attention to the nearest defender. Here's DiVincenzo. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, the officials are all over that one. The Warriors shooting their first free throws of the night. Torrey Craig, he's checked in three. Good on both. Suns trail by six. To the inside, Johnson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And he deserves a lot of credit for what he was able to do at the line last year. 86% from the strike. Here's Golden State. They're on a 14-6 run. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. DiVincenzo's got five. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. And here is Curry. He's got eight. To the wing right side. On deep. You can't get that one. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. In and hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. Here's Curry. Setting the floor for the Warriors. That one is stuffed right through. Well, you get a sense of the recognition from Steph Curry and how quickly he moves through his progressions because, boy, if you're open, he's going to give it to you. It's deflected. Inside. Looney with the bucket. Looney's got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. It's good. Well, the coach loves this kind of ball movement. Anytime you create something inside the free throw line, you know it's a good look. Now here's Curry. Passes to DiVincenzo. That one goes in. That's their third straight make off an assist. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Now Payne. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Here's Curry with the three. Buries the long-range jumper. And the Warriors lead by 15. 
How good are the handles of Stephen Curry? Well, they open the doors early so people can get a look at it. Woohoo, that's nice. Golden State's gone six of eight on three pointers in the game, an outstanding 75% mark. Hey, Buster! Covered by Sharch. And he lays in the alley oop. Oh my goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Phoenix calls timeout. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Ayton's checked in for Sharch. Bridges comes in for Johnson. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Landry Shamit. And it's Booker in for Payne. Bridges with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. From deep three-point range. And the Suns miss again. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have the confidence. You have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Suns trail by 17. To stop the run. And he banks in the layup. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. The Warriors have gone 5 of 6 so far from the field in the second quarter. Here's DiVincenzo. Seven points in the game. Another three for Golden State. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. A nice shot by Booker. The quality decision making off that pick and roll. Booker just taking what the defense gives him. Here's the Warriors with the ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Beyond the arc. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Wiggins has got five now. Oh, great ball movement there. From deep, sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Eight points for Devin Booker. Uh, just tremendous range already. What a floor spacer Booker is at such a tender young age. Even Shenzo hits the bucket. Look at the space he had on that one, though. There's an obvious speed mismatch between the two. Paul goes in, uses the glass to finish the layup. Paul's got his first points of the game. Yeah, what you like about Paul and the pick and roll, not just excellent timing with the pass, but the placement, it's always where it needs to be for the finish. Here's Craig. It's rebounded by Poole. Warriors leading by 16 for the finish. Oh! Well, a spectacular athlete is Andrew Wiggins, and when he's got a chance to get in space and transition, forget about it. No good from Booker. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Back to Green. Wiggins from outside. No good that time. Now the Suns take it the other way. Booker outside. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. How about the ability to adjust after the contact? Booker, the score in the and one. Crowder, he's checked in for the Suns. Golden State's gone three of four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. Poole, the pass to Wiggins. Here's Poole, defended by Crowder. Poole, no good. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. Down by 15. Out to the wing. Pass to Booker. Shot clock at six. 
Launches a three, buries it from three-point range. Booker's got 14 points. Yeah, releasing the ball at its highest point, that allows Booker to drain jumpers over people. 44 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's the three, and Poole gets it to go. Poole's got his second bucket of the night. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Warriors leading by 12. Pass to DiVincenzo. Green dishes to Thompson. For Phoenix, they've gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. And he trims the lead to single digits. Booker's got 20 points. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding on to an 11-point cushion. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You gotta like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. Warriors leading by 11. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Aiton is out there with Jay Crowder. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Crowder goes in. Dishes it to Booker. I see him. Booker draws the double. Bridges passes to Ayton. Just five on the clock. Crowder. Wiggins with the rebound. Curry deciding where to go with it. And Wiggins throws it down. Now, the leaping ability and wingspan of Andrew Wiggins is helping him dominate above the rim. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Chris Paul. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Now, here's Curry. He's got 11. Crowder pulls it in. Paul outside over Curry. And Paul with the basket on the assist by Aiton. Paul's got it back down to within single digits for the Suns. Thompson outside. Takes a three, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. You get a sense there of how challenging it is to guard DeAndre Ayton. Gets good position, makes the defense react. For Phoenix, they have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. He hits the second from the line. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Curry kicks to Wiggins. Shoots over Bridges. Phoenix grabs the miss. Ayton's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Not how they hoped to start this half. One for five, brick after brick. Let's start building the building. Warriors leading by eight on the way, Wiggins. Three-pointer, that's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Paul with the bucket. And oozing with confidence right now. Paul makes plays off the bounce that others can't. The Warriors have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Wiggins kicks to Curry. No good from outside. 
The Suns have gone three or five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Now here's Crowder, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Ayton finds Crowder. Five on the clock. For three, Booker, another three for Phoenix. Uh, Devin Booker has got a 70-point game in his history. He is cooking. You might want to check him tonight. Wiggins against Crowder. And stolen by Eaton. The pass to Bridges. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Yeah, the defender all over. The Suns have made three of five free throw attempts. First free throw is good. Sun changes for Phoenix. Sharch has checked in for Crowder. Johnson comes in for Devin Booker. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Paul. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for the Warriors. There's the dish to Wiggins. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. And it goes down two points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Golden State's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. 158 left in the third quarter. It's three outside. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Payne. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And that one drops. This is a shot Dario Saric can make in his sleep. Give him the mid-range. He'll knock it down. Warriors leading by three. Curry kicks to Wiggins. That shot off the mark. And Phoenix will come the other way. Sharks looking around. Oh, Aiton in position. Hammers the alley-oop through. Boy, look at how natural DeAndre Aiton looks in the pick and roll. This guy is smart. He understands how to navigate. Wiggins outside. It's deflected. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage. In a close game, those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. It's Curry outside. The rebound by Johnson. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Payne dishes to Aiton. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And Golden State gets called for the foul. I tell you, this guy already a double-double threat nightly. And DeAndre Ayton's ceiling is still high. Now he's got to go ahead and reach those expectations by putting in the work. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. The Suns making a switch here. Shamit's checked in. And then for Golden State, Green comes in for Looney. And it's Clay Thompson in for Andrew Wiggins. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And here is Curry. 14 points for him. Looking to end the run. Misses. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Suns ahead, up by four. And time for the short break, and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Phoenix leading by four, setting the floor for the Warriors. We've got Thompson. 
Curry is out there at Draymond Green, and it's Poole in at the two. And the rejection by Curry. And the layup's good off the glass. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. Down low, here's Sharks, and slam dunk by Sharks. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working. It allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Shamit the pass to Payne. Crowder from outside. Warriors with the rebound. Passes it to Poole. For the three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got five assists in the game. And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Sun. A two-point game. He dishes it to Sharnich. One is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Boy, what determination from Dario Saric. So good at being aggressive around the rim. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Timeout called. The Suns. Curry with a strong contribution so far in this one. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. Substitution here for Phoenix. Aiton, he's checked in for Sharich. Bridges comes in for Johnson. Booker, he's checked in for Landry Shamit. And Chris Balls subbed in for Cameron Payne. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, during that last break, I listened to the Suns coach address his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. And the basket by Curry. Curry's got 19 points. Well, this guy's not just an outside shooter. I mean, we most identify Steph Curry as the greatest shooter in the NBA right now, but gets inside there. That's pretty. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And the Warriors making a change here. Wiggins is checked in. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Green kicks to Wiggins. Curry on the wing. Just five to shoot. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Boy, not on the same page there. And in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. Phoenix has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Paul finds Booker. Three-pointer. Green with the rebound. Green's got four rebounds in this game. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Well, Wiggins, young in his career, but he's already giving lots of defenders headaches night after night. The Suns trailing. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Wiggins with the block. Well, using every bit of that seven-foot wingspan, Wiggins airmailing it back. Here's Curry with the three. Bridges with the board. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Paul. 
Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Bridges kicks to Crowder. Aiton at the elbow. On target from 13 feet. Aiton's got four points this quarter. DeAndre Aiton unafraid in the big moment. Nice delivery. Golden State's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Outside Curry. Cranes the three-pointer. Curry's got 22. Big sequence there, guys. Curry takes it upon himself to take and make the big bucket. Paul passes to Aiton. Count it. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Golden State's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Kicks it to Curry. But three, and another three for Golden State. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Here's Poole, defended by Booker. Here's Wiggins, basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. And you can feel the excitement in the building. Both of these teams pouring it on. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. With three, Booker gets rebounded by Golden State. Green's got five rebounds tonight. That shot wide open. And now an eight-point Warrior lead. Well, late rotation by the defense, and Wiggins has the vision to find the open man. To halt the run, Aiton kicks to Bridges. For three, Booker, the long-distance three is buried. Booker's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Suns. To the paint. And that one's good. Wiggins. The aggressive finish inside. Andrew Wiggins beats some very good defense. Paul dishes to Bridges. From deep three-point range. Good. And now they trail by just four. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can wheel his way into games at times and exert his presence. Curry finds Green. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. But boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Right on the bucket. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. It counts. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. It falls! Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaking. What I love about Stephen Curry is the pure joy he gets from playing the game of basketball. He will put everything on the line every single night he's on the floor. Phoenix calls timeout. They're behind by three. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And it's do or die time. They need a bucket here to stay alive. And it's either got to be a three-pointer or a score quickly and take the foul. Booker, right side. To tie it up. Count it! And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. 
Well, he can hit big shots. Booker's about as confident a young man as we've seen when the pressure's on. Now a timeout called by Golden State. The score is tied at 85. Just two seconds left to play in the final quarter. For the win. Oh, it's no good. And we're headed to overtime. These teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. So Phoenix will get the first possession. And always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. This overtime now looking to be an exciting one. On the court for the Suns, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Johnson is out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Paul in at the point guard. Green passes to Curry. He kicks to Wiggins. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And it's now 22 points for Andrew Wiggins. A confident young man. Wiggins just answers the bell. Warriors leading by three. Outside Curry. Here's DiVincenzo. Shot clock at five. Takes the 13-footer. That shot is off. And Phoenix will come the other way. Paul kicks to Booker. Bows is off. Four quarters, not enough. We're just over a minute into overtime. Here's Hayton, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. I love the focus from the young big man, DeAndre Ayton. The hoop and the harm there. Nicely done. Free throw drops for Ayton. Yeah, big play on the front end to finish, despite getting hacked there, and big on the back end to hit the free throw. Curry outside, and another three for Golden State. Boy, when Curry is hot, look out. This guy is fantastic at understanding what the defense is conceding and making them pay. And the Suns call time here. They're trailing by three. A minute 42 left to play in the first overtime. Curry against Paul. Curry with the steal. Just over a minute and a half played here in overtime. And he gets it to go. Curry's got 31. Paul against Curry. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. They get Stephen Curry. And any discussion about CP3 has to start with his hands. The dribble moves, all the steals he gets, he uses his hands better than just about anybody. You must embrace the pressure and knock down critical free throws. Nicely done. To the inside, Wiggins, and Wiggins throws it down. One of the reasons the scouts loved Wiggins, he always finds a way to deliver in big-time moments. Paul finds Johnson. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Boy, that's the type of shot they'd like to get on every single possession. To the right side. No one near him. Here's Wiggins. Close contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, see, I think Andrew Wiggins has the kind of leaping ability and skill to be really effective. I like that he's aggressive hitting the offensive window there, guys. And that tacks another big point onto the lead. Great N1 play showing us now a little bit of that killer instinct. And here we go. Johnson heading to the hoop. And the shot goes in. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreak. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Paul kicks to Aiton. Now Wiggins. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And here they go. And Poole gets it to go. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct 
take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. For three, Booker. And again, it's the Suns missing. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Suns. They trail by 11. Good on the three-point shot. And it's 37 points for Devin Booker. You have to be able to think quickly and make great decisions. And in the catch and shoot, Devin Booker doing work. And taken away by Johnson. So we see the Warriors get the win here. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for them in overtime. Yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire. But give them credit, they were able to regroup in that overtime and, and this win has to feel satisfying. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.